Hey, hi. In this video, we will be covering the following topics. MySQL case statement, date and time functions, math functions, update and delete rows. If you haven't already, I recommend checking out my video on exploring data types and spatial data in MySQL. The link is pinned in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. All of the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and Cambridge science education. So, let's begin this session. So, myself, there are some pretty good functions in will function which you can use it. So, first we have case function. So, case function is to write kind of switch case. So, if you have multiple conditions, you have uh, you want to go this direction or you can you can have north direction or south direction you have multiple direction so if any condition applies then you will trigger that result to execute so here also we have case statement we use like this case then you also can use space then you have to write the condition when and the condition name it can be any condition then we have the result what you want to shoot if that condition is true what should be the result you can have n number of conditions what if nothing applies then else that result will fire and then you have to use end to end this case statement so let's see in some example we are going to use my skill workbench so you it will look like this you will see a new user connection this would be the uh, first user you will be able to see this is my, my creation i will help you how to create this new user as well but concentrate on this admin user who is root user so click on that and it will open a new dialog box where you will see some some page it's already open i have opened that's why it's kept in open so either you will get a page empty page at the left side you will see some database which is already present so let's see what are the tables already have we have geometry if you remember we connect understood through for Special data types. We have connect. We have class. So let's see some more tools. What we can use to understand these tables and what we can. So uh, you need to be very familiar with these little little things. If you want to open the table content, you can see over this in the information i icon of that table particular table then this table will open so it will show you the schema name and the table also all information is already where it is stored your path is also given here at the top you will see some tabs the first is info second you will see columns what are the columns which is already been created you will see those in here so we have second indexes so indexes are to quickly find those columns we create some indexes whatever you uh, create this will be listed here we also can create triggers that will list here foreign key if you have any foreign key that will also list here partition if any grant what are the permission you have for this table or the whole user as well so all things it's present here detail command is also given to you whenever if you want to recreate that same table, you can copy this and paste this to a new schema. That also works. So next we have setting icon means to change the structure of your table. So if you want to modify your structure or you want to add some column, that will be done here. You can see that this is the table name you want to change. You can change as well. And also that uh, what character set you want to use, engine. So I'm not going to change anything for now, but if you want to delete or you want to change, you want to update, instead of doing by coding, you can use this way. This is very handy and it's very few knowledge. You can actually create whole table itself. Let's understand the next icon. What is this? So this is to insert something. So if you want to insert or you want to select the query, this will give you the result. 
So this, whenever you click this one, any of the table, you will see select query. Select query to find all table, whatever is present. So this is at the bottom, you will see the result. So if you want to change, you can write here query as well. Right. I'm going to write like this. And in the top, you will see execute. You can execute also. So uh, what I've did is I've written select star from this table, this schema where ID is more than eight. I whatever the ID which is more than eight, please show me. So I have got the result. Hope you have understood. So we want to understand case. So I have name, section, strength, created date. Everything is already pre present, which I we have created in one of the session. So we can add a condition saying that if somebody's class name is math, math class, then say that that is a mathematics. Okay. And if it is a social or science, say that is a science. If that is something PHP or any language, then put that in a language programming thing. Okay. That condition we are going to put here. Use the same statement, select statement, write case. Hit enter, say when. When, then the condition. So when, the name of this is equals to, I can use equal math, then what? Then tell that is a mathematic. Same the next case, say name equals to science. Then also say we can have science and also we can use or condition name equals to social. So these are case sensitive, you have to use the case whatever you want to search or it will not give you the result then say science class and the next last could be if you have php or name equals to java we have java as well. so you should be knowing what is the uh, list you have you cannot blindly uh, do the condition you must be understanding the data which is already present then you say programming class say no classes okay next here from which you want to do i guess we need to end our cases so after ending your whole statement will execute so now um this will give a, a column so if you remember if i say name i want to get it name the id only those details will be listed no other column so what in the same way we are going to add our case statement so what will happen so i will get only the these value then the result value not the whole entire so i must understand what was the id of that right at least id of that what was there here section we have strength we have we can also use class teacher also okay the name of class teacher section is not required yeah that should be fine also we can take the name to understand or oh, verify for our site okay also add comma and execute this state what is the answer is that you can see the whole thing has put here so what we can do is we can reduce this whole thing to, to a particular word. Like we can say class name. Just need, you need to add as, which is alias. So alias is one of the case where you want to rename or you want to change the column name or you, you want to identify that whole statement by that. So you use alias. Execute this. Now you will get a short column name, which is class name. Now you'll see science class, mathematics class. We have, so there are some class which are no classes. Okay. I guess the social spelling was wrong. Social. We are going to execute once again. Now you will see your class name has been changed. And you will see science class, mathematics class, science class. So all are under your case statement. So this way you can change, modify your whole record. Next, we will understand date function, date time. Okay. You can also list date time here. So if you write date 
and inside that if you give any date function then your date will be represented so what is the format of that so year date is the year the month then you have days if you execute this one you will see the date value appear so this is it's required when you are going to insert something and you want to change then you can use this date function to format your string value this is your string you know the format you have the value but it is in string you want to change that to the date function then you use this date function similarly we have cell time as well you can use time time format is within the code if, if you want to send tens per string to time then with the help of the format you can give it so hour we have uh, two hour colon we have 55 colon we have uh, second so up to 59 second you can do it so if you execute this you will see the time the exact time what what i just did is we have changed the string value to the time if i if you give any other value other than that it will just change according to the format of that so after 2.55 doesn't have any the second so what it just take 0 0 same applies to here if i just don't give it this whole thing is not correct format the next function is current date and current time so current date gives you the system date so whenever you write cur date or current date both are correct if we just write cur date then execute you will get the today's date so today's day is year month and the date same applies for current time as well current time or current current time both are correct if you execute you will get current time and current time would be under having a underscore i guess t was also not present so this is the correct function so whenever every time you execute the time will get updated so we we can use this current and current date time according when you want to insert some data time you can use this current date and current time so timestamp is what the time time is useful we when you have a visitor from different country with different time zone you can easily convert this time stamp to any country time zone so time stamp and the date are time date time are different so always remember when you you are working with organization which have different country working together then you use time stamp and when you are apply only your application is going to work on your country maybe india it can be or america wherever your application is working that use this date type you do use everywhere okay so let's see the next topic we have mysql math function there are pretty well function which is already present which you can use it to get your result if you know or not these are the functions which is present and you can use by some example so you can see the first is abs abs function returns the absolute value of specified number so let's see what it does you can use abs function inside abs you need to write the number if you write a minus number it will change this app number to absolute number absolute means without negative value means it just change your number to positive number next function we have sqrt sqrt is square root function if you write any square root and execute you will get square root of 3 if you want to understand and verify use a which is you already know square root of 4 would be 2 right next we have sum sum will help you to sum some value so if you want to give some value you want to sum it let's say i if i give 1 minus 2 plus 3 then it will execute and it will give me the value you can use any mathematic operation to sum your value the next we have truncate truncate function used to get the value get the given number truncated up to given certain decimal places okay so truncate have two parameter one is the value the next is the how many to the decimal you want to truncate so if you have a long number like this and you want to only give get first three digit after decimal then say three 
here. If you execute, you will get up to that decimal. It will not change your number. It will just delete or cut your values. So use this when you want to show only two decimal or one place decimal. Okay. Next we have average. Average, if you know, average is with AVG. If you want to average something. So if you have so many number and put that into the set. Let's see that in example with record. You cannot use this for different uh, just like this one. So you can send a record. So what record? So we already have this class, session class. We have marks, right? We want to average out for different marks. Select from session one class. We already have average, but what we are doing, we are averaging out of from different classes. Okay. So 62 is my average number. This whole thing different classes. So next we have ceiling. Ceiling is new if you ever heard if you have worked in math or then you might be knowing what is ceiling. Ceiling is to get the lowest greater than and equal to the given number. Seal and ceiling works like both are same. So if you have seal value so if you have like 2.22 then what would be the ceiling number? If you execute you will get 23. If you have just one number bigger than that then that would be the UI answer. So let's see some few more examples. If you have uh, 001 also, 003, this also will give 23. If you ever have a point more value, then that value will take an at the greatest number. The next value would be the for the minus value. So if you take the same with the minus value, then the lowest, I believe the 22 should be the answer. So let's see that, yeah. So the highest number is, is 22. Next value is 22. So if you just give minus then also 22 and uh, if you run this one with uh, positive then also it is 22 right next we have count if you want to count something put that inside here star from session the total count total row we have is 10 we have divide divisors to find the integer divisor by dividing the number n by the number m just like the divide div division we do we can use the div thing just add one you want to divide like 4 divide by 2 then you will get the divide division of that value. Just so same, it also works with like this. If you want to do something, div and divisor both works, right? But the difference of that is this give you result by dividing that value, but this give you divisor of that value. So let's say if if you give any other 22 by 7, which is a pi value, if you know. So you will get 3, not 3.14. So same is different for dividing right so we also have pi value if you use pi right pi function we also have if you execute this pi you will get the pi value present with the pi also you can use divisor by 3 this all works we get 1 okay we have floor just like ceiling we have opposite is floor ceiling is the ceiling top and greatest and floor is the smallest if you use select and floor give the same number floor which will you get 22 so this time it has not given the next value it will just remain same because uh, whatever it would be the that would be the lowest if what if with this minus use minus if you then it will go just to lowest the next lowest is 23 minus 23 the uh, next is greatest function greatest and least both both work with set of value if you use greatest and put some value here so you will get the greatest value among those nine is the greatest then highest number is the greatest same applies for least will give the least number the so one is the least number hope you you have understood then we have math min use math on record not the number we we have to use on column max of average marks from session 1 class so maximum number is 77 and minimum number would be when minimum would be 33.3 three next function we have mod or so mod works when you want to get reminder of the specified value just like divisor the other part the leftover part would be the mod mod value if I use the same pi number to get 
this if you if you do this with divisor you will get one the other part of that would be the mod the remaining one if you divide by that would be three but the remaining part will be this one right the pi the remaining if you understand so this is the hence we have power function as well which is to power your value so power of any number like three numbers and you can also add how many power you want to do i want to get two to the power so if you execute you will get two to the power three to the power two is nine two to the power three would be 27 you can also use minus or a complex number as well yeah this all works and this minus also works if you want to get a rational number we have rand and round rand to generate random number so if you want to generate random number use rand function so every time you, whenever you execute you will it will always generate a random number so you can see it generate of in the decimal number not in that so what you have to do is if you get want to get a whole number just add 100 so you will get random number within 100 and also you can truncate this whole thing truncate by 1 or 0 truncate everything I don't want any decimal so you will get the random two digit number isn't that this interesting okay we have last and not the least we have round function if you want to round function this is helpful when you working with retail shop or you want to send change so round will help you to round off your number so we have something which is round of works when you have more than 50 this will remain 1 2 3 if you execute this one so 1 2 3 if you have 40 51 then it will change to next bigger number which is 120 hope you have understood so far so let's understand the next topic update delete rows what are update statements to update certain value you want to modify certain data we use using where clause and delete also works when you want to remove or delete pieces of conditions so let's see in an example so we have we want to update so let's see what we have already so we have one table called connect so let's see what is there in the connect so i'm going to use database there's a schema i have used now you can without using a session you can select connect okay so what you can see is you can see we have some pretty good num names and marks right okay so let's say if i want to delete some date some value so i want to change this tina name so we can change it or we can change the id as well we don't have any constraint here so we can change it so i want to update so update the table and set what you want to set i want to change the name of this person or tina but which id you want to change i want to change this id which is level if i execute this one update this table so i need to add from here update so what it says that you are using safe update mode and you are tried to update a table without where that use key so so it giving you a warning and it has it there's this uh, there's a safe mode already present here so you uh, in my skill by default it it, uh, it is enabled so that it ensure that you don't uh, deliberately update or modify data right so this is admin your admin that's why this you don't get uh, the permission what we can do is we can change the safe mode we can disable safe mode by writing this query the safe update mode can be helpful feature to prevent accidental data loss however it can also be inconvenient if you need to update or delete in this case you can disable the safe mode temporarily and then re-enable it when you are finished so it was false it was enabled so we have to disable it make it sql safe update true we should be able to update this yeah it has been updated let's try this yeah now you can see row has been affected means that i am able to see my 
updated data. So let's see what has been updated. You can see Lita has been updated. Hope you understood. We understand the up update, how it works. So uh, we can also update multiple table. So if you want to change multiple like, like another name or name you want to change or you want to set marks on the change. So same row will get update. The exact row will get update. Not everyone will get update. So I want to change the marks as well. I want to just update to 29. Now you, if you execute, you will see the data updated. So Lita 29 has been updated. Let's see what else we can do. I want to delete some data now. So how to delete? If you use delete and uh, table, so it will actually delete whole data from here, which I don't want to do it. I want to lose this. So you have to add condition where clause, which ID you want to delete. Okay. I just want to delete the ID called level equals to level. Now we can update. Uh, we have uh, deleted. So now Lita will not be updated. Oh, you understood? I hope you find this video informative and that you learned something new. And if you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. I am Atindinath and this has been Bit Science. I will see you in the next video.